Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you identify yourself? Hey. Can you? Can I have your call number, please? Yeah, it's double six seven eight. Right. Don't walk away from me again when I'm speaking to you. All right, constable. All right. Can you speak to us if you want. Yes guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. It is order in Yorkshire. So on this glorious sunny afternoon guys, we are in Wyke in Bradford and we are going to New Farm Chemicals LTD. Now when I get a little bit closer guys, I'm going to give you some information on this place. Also going to be flying a drone. Also brought this bad boy out with me. Uh, see what kind of response we get with this I have forgot my microphone for it so I'll have to nip back to the car I'll pick it back up right we are outside guys new farm uh, zero targeting zero harm so a little bit of information on this place guys uh, new farm UK limited is one of the world's principal suppliers of polymerization I think that's how you say it Polymerization control agents for the uh, monomer industry. Uh, we are committed to improving the performance of our customers' uh, processes through a combination of optimal products and expert application knowledge. We produce our we produce our polymerization inhibitor and uh, re retarder. I think that says products our uk manufacturing facility at wyke for supply to many of the major uh, pet petrochemical companies throughout europe the middle east asia pacific and uh, americas uh, as well as producing industry standard products we have a successful research and development team that have been uh, that have developed uh, and potential new anti uh, polymerants this is enabling New Farm to provide solutions to polymer problems, uh, problems in a wide range of uh, petro uh, chemical processes. These include uh, retarders and inhibitors for um, sterenics. There's some big words here today, guys. Please forgive me if I'm getting any of them wrong. Uh, together with antioxidants and inhibitors for uh, acrylics, uh, budadine, I think that says. Uh, ethylene and many more there's, there's some words here what I've never even heard of uh, New Farm has a collaboration with a water treatment company to expand our offering and service to our customers we can now offer full site treatment including water and process chemicals and on site support so uh, New Farm manufacture a wide range of specialty chemicals for use in a diverse diverse number of applications but is uh, most widely known as a supplier of um, phenoxy uh, propinic <laughs> acetic um, in the form of uh, MCPA DB and MCPB CMPP and DB uh, DP, sorry, and 2,4-D to the um, agricultural sector. I have absolutely no idea what any of that means, but it, I thought it'd be an interesting place for uh, you guys to, to see and know about. Um, so basically, this is the um, Wyke depot. I'm not sure if it's the head office, but this is the Wyke depot and they have uh, been uh, this group of chemicals have been around for over 50 years and unlike many more modern chemicals resistance has not become a major issue uh, these specific hormones are only found in plants and have no similarity uh, to hormones found in fish or animals and then there is just a load of contact information uh, for this branch site whatever it is head office um, what I am going to do is I'm going to have a look round. Got my mic now. Um, 
It's not actually bad that, you know, I've done a bit of recording on that in Cumbria and it turned out to be alright. Uh, I've got to check drone assist, see if we can get the, uh, the drone out, because uh, it is a nice sight. And, uh, and then we'll pick it back up. So I'm just going to go uh, have a look around in a couple of seconds. Right, so that's that done. That's all that's spoken about. Bloody hell. Some big words there for a Monday morning. Some very big words. Uh, I've not seen actually any any signs. What's there? Uh, no trespassing, no entry, or all like that. We've got a contractor access uh, control office. Um, that's the only sign I've seen saying you can't do something. We're not smoking one. Uh, we've got reception and deliveries and the hiring as well, guys. But depending on how this uh, video goes, you might not want a job with some, someone like this. So. Uh, for assistance, open and call the number shown inside um, 2286. Uh, we've got some uh, hand sanitizer on the wall and key cards and stuff to get in. Um, some contract contractor access to site information. Um, that looks like the clock is in place, to be honest with you. Um, I am rocking the high vis guys. Do have the high vis on today. Uh, no pedestrians or by bicycle access across either of the way bridges. Um, uh, we've got anti climb paint. To be honest. From what I've seen so far, it looks like a clean site. Can't get any further down there because of barrier. Uh, we've got some no tailgating signs. Um, got some more signs in here. I can't see if there's any breach of the GDPR or anything because this office is quite high and we can't. We can't. What are you doing, buddy? Eh? What are you doing? A uh, Pinnock Health and Safety Inspection. Johnny? A Pinnock Health and Safety Inspection. Oh, right. Yeah, just uh, having a look around site, seeing if there's any issues I can pick up on uh, any health and safety hazards. Yeah, but, I mean, are you Breach log logged in here? Breach of GDPR. Are you booked in like here? Yeah, no, no, because I'm not with a company. Uh, shouldn't really be walking about here then, should you? It, well, I'm sticking to all publicly accessible areas, so I'm not going past any barriers or all oh, like you're that. In, you're in a, a, a roadway where. We, you know, motor vehicles come in. Oh, right. I don't want you getting run over. Oh, no, it's all right, mate. If, if I mean, if any come, I'll move out of where, um, obviously, Ivy's is on as well. I won't go down about here too long. I was just having a look, and then I'm going to go back around the other side. But obviously, I'm going to stick to... Are you security? No, but this you, is... You just work security here. ...security years ago. It, oh, well, oh, oh, the old, oh, old security gatehouse? It is. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. So it's not used for that anymore? No, no. Well, it is at night. There is a night security, but not in daytime. Yeah. No, it's a very interesting site. I've been doing a bit of a story on what it is, yeah. um, what kind of, what kind of if products. If you want to get in and, and, and do it properly, you know, you need to get to the reception and try and contact somebody. That could All talk right. To you and, Who's in charge? Um, well, several. Because I can go around and ask. Yeah, you get on reception and find out from them. Yeah, the sweet. Nice one. Well, like I said, I'm not going um, past any barriers or out like that. But I'll have a walk around and ask them, see yeah. what we say. Be far better if you did that. Chances you know, are they'll probably wondering about when when folks start wondering about I get people watching up camp. Who's that there? You know. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Ask it, so. Well, uh, have they already asked you? No. no I, I just saw you. And have I been like, spotted? What are you doing? You know? Right. Well, what I'll do is, um, like I said, the, the the probability is it's probably going to be a no, but you can ask for you can ask for no, can't you? That's it, lad, yes. So I'll go around and ask him, pal. Yeah. Nice one. Cheers, buddy. <clears throat> uh, so yeah. It's used for security on the night. Uh, it used to be gate, it used to be proper security lodge. I don't think it's really used for security much anymore, judging by what he was saying. Um, but yeah, we'll go around and ask. 
you know, he's, he's basically given me, <coughs> inadvertently given me permission in, in a sense to come on site uh, because he said go and ask somebody. So we'll go, we'll go and ask somebody, see what we say. Hiya mate, you alright? Hey mate. Are you scared her? No. Alright, no worries. Hiya. Hiya love. I've been sent round from gatehouse. Right. Um, he's asked me what I'm doing, I've told him what I'm doing. Uh, he said to come round here and see if I can get some sort of permission. I've I told him that I'm only sticking to publicly accessible areas and stuff. Well, who are you? Sorry? Who are you? Um, what I'm doing is I'm doing, um, and I do this at a lot of businesses, so I do independent health and safety checks. Right, the water accept it, I'm uh, Basically, any any problems I find and, and, and anything yeah. what occurs, any breach of GDPR, Sorry. I make a list and then I then yeah. come and speak to whoever's in charge yeah. and, and give them the no, concerns of what I've written down. No, I'm sorry, we can't do that. Right, um, are you in charge, are you? No. Uh, would you be able to ask somebody then? Can you just wait out here, please? Well, Can it's... you just wait out here and I'll ask someone? Yeah, I mean, am I not all right because I'm a visitor? No. Am I not all right to just wait, wait here? Wait out here, please. Well, he said I could come round. Well, I don't care what he says, this is my area. Can you wait out Your here? Your area? Yeah. Do you own it? No. Can you wait out here? Yeah, that's fine. No problem. I don't know right. why I'm here. I'll just get a picture of it and then I'll go out. Look at these clouds. Is that right, yeah? I've asked you to leave. I am. I've asked you to leave. You shouldn't have even come in here. Well, I'm a visitor. I don't care what you are. I've asked you what? to leave. Why are you being rude? I'm not being rude. I've asked you to leave. You are being rude. I've asked you to leave. He said I could come round. I don't care I'm who said. Leave, please. Huh? Leave, please. Well, what are you being rude for? Who are you? Who are you? Well, I'm trying to explain that, but your colleague's being rude right, to me. Right, well, you've been asked to leave. Please leave or we'll call the police. I will rude. Well, I've been I'm told I can come in. I'm literally in the room. Who are you? I don't matter who I am. I'm asking you to leave. Are you a representative of this company? Yes, I'm asking you to leave. Are you, are you a manager? Yes. Oh, can you leave what, What's your position? Can you turn the camera off? No, this is recording for my, my uh, evidential purposes. Right, can you leave, please? But I've, I've explained to your colleague I'm doing Who's a... Who's told you to come round? I'm doing it. What's but, happened is, Trevor in Weybridge has sent him yeah. round, mm -hmm. and Sam has gone out of the door and Sam has let him in. Right. Right, you're on well, private property. There's no need to get... No, no, so listen to me, please, yeah? There's no need to right, start, on, you know, please. ruffling feathers, no, no, mate. No, no, I'm, I'm being right. polite. And... I'm being polite, yeah? No, you're not being you, polite. So I'd like you to leave, You're, being very you're on private property. Sorry, in the police. Yeah? Now, wow. I can't stop you from standing on the road yeah? wow. and filming. But well, I'm, I'm going to be walking around any publicly accessible areas exactly. I can get to. and this isn't publicly accessible, so please leave. Well, I walked straight in. By mistake, so please leave. By mistake? Please leave. Are you going to tell me who you are, then? I'm asking you to leave. Can you go, please, please? Yeah. What are you calling the police for? Because I've asked you to leave, you're on private property. Wow. I'm asking you to leave. I'm, I'm trying to be reasonable. And I'm trying to be reasonable. Trevor yeah. sent me round and Trevor to see if I can get some permission. And you can. But I haven't been even been given a chance to explain what, why I'm here and what I'm doing. Well, why are you and what are you doing? So what I'm doing is... Well, I, if you turn the camera off, then we can have a conversation. No. Right then, please. Because if I turn the camera off, you can say stuff to me, or you could say I said stuff to you, what I haven't. Right. <coughs> I'm, I'm asking you to leave, yeah? I'm being so all I'm doing is, a, frank, yeah? is an independent... You are not... Are you going to let me speak? Honest. No, you're, I'm asking you Are you going to let me speak? No. I'm doing an independent health and safety penic inspection. So what I do is I go around to businesses, mm -hmm. I look around the grounds, I tell a bit of a background story on it, what it is, you know, uh, how it's progressed over years. Uh, I shed good light on companies. Unfortunately, it's people like you and your colleague what shed a very dim light on it. Mm -hmm. You undo all the hard work what I'm doing and what everybody else has done. Yep. Okay. I then look for health and safety issues and GDPR breaches. I then make a list of what issues I've found and then I come and report them to somebody in charge. Okay. Right. So I don't know you from Adam. I don't know you from Adam. And but, we, so are, I think, we are. And my name's Kev, so I've explained who I am. Brilliant, Kev. So Can who you are you? Leave it? it doesn't matter who I am. I'm asking you to leave, please. Well, I would like to make a complaint Kev, about you, so you I need to know who you are. You can make a complaint to me. I need to know who you are. It doesn't are. matter who I am. Well, I'm, I'm not leaving then until you tell right, me who you are. Have a seat. Have a well, seat. I don't wait want to sit down. Well, we'll just wait for I'll the I'll stand here. We'll just wait till the police arrive. Well, what are police going to do? They're going to ask you to leave the property. 
Oh, what? So are you wasting taxpayers' money for please well, come and have something later? No, you're wasting taxpayers' that money. That makes sense. Because you're not doing no. what I've asked you to do. Actually, you are, because you give your colleague an instruction to call the police. Yes. So you're wasting... Because you are trespassing. You're wasting their time. You are trespassing. I'm not there. trespassing. You are, because I'd like you to leave. I walked in off the street. It's not It's not my fault you don't open. I walked past your colleague, and he didn't stop me. He didn't say he can't come in. Right. Are you in charge? I just no. walked in. Right. I don't right. speak to you anymore. So go get somebody who's in charge. I'm the site manager and I've asked you to leave. Well, you're not the top boss either, are you? So who's the top? There must be somebody above you here. Or can you give me an email address or a telephone number for your superior? You can, you can just email New Farm. Now, I've asked you to leave. Yes. Right. You're not allowed on site. So, please leave the building. No. An absolute joker you are, man. No, maybe the case. Well, you are, aren't you? I've asked you What's the point in doing all this? What, doing what? You came out very aggressive. I didn't come out aggressive. You did? You started putting your hand up to me like you were going to get hands on with her. Your I colleague started not. getting aggressive. Not got anywhere near you. Not come anywhere well, that, near you. That's the way it came across. Well, I apologise, but I'm asking you to leave now. Please leave. It's a baseball cap over the field. Yeah. Right. I see one, love. I see one. Um, why you got? Why are you calling the police? Because I've asked her. Because <laughs> yeah, you will not leave the building. What an absolute moron! He's wearing a red T-shirt. Ooh, so, red T-shirt. High vis, high vis. Steel toe cap trainers as well, by the way. Right. No problem. Is that door open? I'll let them know. I will continue my uh, health and safety inspection. Whilst they're waiting the police, and then what, what the police will do then when they come... Once you're outside the property, what the, I don't mind what you do. What the police will do then when they come, is they will educate you, my friend. They oh, will educate great. you. And I'll so, look forward to that. Please leave. Well, move out of the way and I'll leave, please. I don't need you to hold the door open okay. for me. Right, I don't want you anywhere near me. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Well... What an absolute moron. There's no need for that, is there? No need at all. You all right? Eh? Recording you? Because I'm allowed to. If you want privacy, mate, close your blinds. What an absolute moron. Right. <sighs> Absolutely no need for all this at all. Right. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? I've got quite a few people in and around this place. I keep looking at me and stuff, so... I'm gonna leave the camera rolling, guys. <clears throat> and then I'm going to get some drone footage. So, apparently he's the security manager. Uh, but he won't give me his name. Uh, overhead electrical power lines. Do not take or erect long, ob long objects past this point. Should have covered that up, my friend. I know the pin now. <laughs> no, I'm not coming in. <laughs> no. Vehicles must not enter or leave the car park when the fire gas alarm is sounding. Right, guys, so I will. 
what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to get the tripod out a little bit more get some pictures of this place and then uh, pick it back up place are here guys place are here with blues and twos on oh wow morons right how am I going to do this now Can I ask why you've come down here with blues and twos on? Why I've come down here with blues and twos? Yeah, we've located Alan. So we've had a nine 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 call from from here. Sorry, I, was down in Darlington. I don't know what it's about. I'm going to go speak to security. Yeah, right. yeah well. Who are you? What's? I'm doing a health and safety inspection. Right. Okay. Basically, uh, I came. Mm -hmm. and Trevor, in there. Yeah. Um, said to go around to reception and speak to someone and let them know what I'm doing. Right. Okay. So he inadvertently gave me permission to be on site. Right. So I went in, the door were open, mm. and then they started like kicking off and stuff saying you can't be in here. I said, kicking well, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been kicking off. Just getting really, really sort of like feathers ruffled, getting a bit, bit abrupt, bit, bit yeah. rude, very rude, name? very arrogant. Um, and then he says, you can't be in here. I says, well, I'm a visitor. I've been, Trevor's given me permission to come around and speak to somebody mm -hmm. so I can tell them what I'm doing. I, I mean, I did that out of courtesy. I didn't have to let them know. What's your name? Don't matter what my name is, love. Okay. Can you identify yourself, please? Excuse me. Excuse me. Can, can you identify yourself? Hey? Can you? Can I have your caller number, please? Yeah, it's 6678. Right, don't walk away from me again when I'm speaking to you. All right, constable. All right. You can speak to us if you So two units and, and three police officers for a man with a camera. Is this an absolute joke? I've told you what I'm doing, so I don't wish don't to... Don't tell me anything, sir. I've just literally turned up. I've I don't turned... need to speak to anyone. I've, t I've turned up. Trevor... This is my single crewed colleague. Trevor in there gave me permission to go into reception. And speak Trevor? to reception. That bloke in there. I don't know who he is, mate. Never met him. Right, OK. Well, we just told him what Trevor. I was doing. He said, go to reception, mm -hmm. speak to them, let them know what you're doing and get permission. I says, OK, no problem. So I went round. Then they started asking me to leave. I said, hang on a minute. I said, I want to speak to somebody in charge. I said, I've come in here, I'm a visitor. I've come in here for permission. Right. Start getting rude. Well, yeah, they've got no else to do, mate. Honestly, three of them for a man with a camera. Three of them for a man with a camera. Can you identify yourself? Yeah, PC204 starts right there. If you station, want to read. please. Trafalgar House Police Station. And yourself? Uh, 4574, Trafalgar House Police Station. Right, thank you very much. No problem. If you need to speak to me, officers, I will be across the road on the uh, pavement. What's your name, buddy? My name? Do I need to give you it? Well, you well, might do. Job. Depends what's been going on in there. Like I say, we have to speak to people, though. Nothing's right? been going on. Right, OK. So I've, I've got it all on camera, and they've got it all on their camera, probably. Right, OK. So good thing is about me is I've got it all audio. Well, we'll speak to them, see what they say. So whatever, That's where my colleague Whatever comes. lies and they then... come out with, I can prove otherwise, right, OK? okay. Completely wasted your time, this is ridiculous. Three constables and two cars for a man with a camera. What an absolute joke. We just get called, don't we? We turn up. I know it's not your fault. Up, it's up. not your fault, but it's I mean it's dispatch's fault, isn't it? Wow. I should have said, right, so new new farms called us. There's somebody on the property refusing to leave. He's on his own, he's got some cameras. You guys should have known because you all should have got um, memos from uh, the M NCPP. Nas uh, Na National Chief Police Council mm -hmm. about people like me and what we go around doing. Now every every force in this country should have received that memo. Right, okay. So it's down to that force or whoever's in charge of that force to then pass that memo on to colleagues, superintendents, chief inspectors, inspectors, sergeants, and so on. Mm -hmm. So it's it is really their fault. It's not yours because you're doing your job. I understand that. It's yeah. their fault. Well, I've not got this memo, so. I don't know what it is. You should says. have got it, mate. It got um, sent out about two years ago from uh, the National well, Police Chief Council. It's probably got lost in my email inbox then, if it's two years ago. MPCC, sorry, I think I might have said that the other way around. But yeah, National Police Chief Council. Um, like I said, I mean, I've, I've, uh, I've, I, I think I've conducted myself very professionally. 
Yeah, like I say, you've been recording it, so that's fine, but yeah. we do have to ask them to see if there's any offences that they've disclosed, in which case, obviously, we would have to deal with it, yeah. So that's where my colleague's gone. Yeah. She's gone to speak to them to ensure that there's no no offences here, <laughs> and then we can all go, can't we? But until that point, obviously, we have to just stay here until she's no. happy. No problem. Well, I'll catch up with you shortly, all right? Yeah, well, we'll come with you if you, want, if you wanted to go that way. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I've not, I've not finished my work yet. I'm just going on to the other side of the road. Right guys, I am up in the sky. Uh, I am recording on the DSLR for sound. Uh, because I don't have my GoPro strap on me today. Uh, but yeah, the police are still here. As you can see. So there's two, well three officers. Two who are still waiting out here. Uh, two cars. And uh, yeah, I mean, let's get to a, let's get to a decent, decent, a decent altitude, and then we'll check this place out. So let's go over there. Right, that, that should be all right. That should do. Yeah, Seventy meters. I mean, the outside of the premises um, is really clean and tidy. Now, from what I can see on the inside, it looks to be clean and tidy also. Um, I thought, I came here today thinking that it was uh, that Marty B had been here. But I actually don't think it's this one where it came. Because I don't remember, unless, unless there's some big gates around it, another entrance somewhere. But I don't recognise this side from his video. Uh, so that's that car park, what we didn't go in. Because uh, obviously it's a restricted area. Um, this place is quite big, to be fair. You, my colleague spoken to them, they've not disclosed any kind of offences, so obviously there's nothing criminal that's gone on here. Uh, they have said that they don't consent to you filming them in this private place, so that you can't post their faces on YouTube or wherever you're going to oh, post them. Oh, that's too bad, mate. So that's if, too bad. They don't know what to do if they don't like it. We'll, we've the, we've told them, so yeah. they, they will obviously just contact YouTube and they'll, yeah. they'll get it taken down. Yeah. Potentially, civil court, they, they can take don't, civil court if they wanted to, don't can't they? Me, don't make me laugh, mate. But, like with all things, if, if you are interact with them in a private place, you would have to blur their faces, etc. to comply with all YouTube's like privacy policy and all that stuff, yeah? I'm sure you understand that. Obviously, if it were out here in a public place, you might be able to get away with it, but that's not a public place, is it? You're a YouTuber, are you? I'm not a YouTuber, no. All right. If I was, I wouldn't be in this job, would I? I'd be making like millions of pounds online. I'd be sat at home or doing something else, flying around. So, but just, yeah, they're saying you can't go in there. So if just you want to stay question. out here and do whatever you want, you can do, mate. There's just one question um, on, left, then. what I uh, want to ask you. Um, so, uh, is there any offences mm -hmm. on their behalf? Not that I know of. Right, so, is wasting police time not an offence? It's not a waste of our time, is it? We've come here to prevent a breach of the peace. So There's no breach of the minimum. peace, mate. And it's, it's that's a, why we're here though, aren't we? We're here to prevent it. So it's just us turning up is just doing our job. It's a waste of police time, so if they want to um, prevent breaches of the peace, I, then I will also be emailing this, emailing them this. I suggest they get an on-site security officer and right. not use the police at their disposal. Because you, are, firm, not, you yeah. are not corporate cops, you do not work for private industries. Um, you are a crown servant who took an oath to protect and serve the public. Am I right or am I wrong? Mostly there, yeah. Well, but not most of it, mate. Like I say, this is still our job. All of it. Speaking, so we do turn up. If somebody calls us, we turn up, don't we? Everything I've just said is correct. So, 
what I need you to do is, um, I don't know, maybe get the police or whoever you can to maybe email them, get your sergeant to give them an email. Um, giving them them suggestions I've just given you. Get a security guard, stop, stop wasting police time. Well, it's not a waste of a time, but like you say, a security guard would go a long way. But also, you know, you trespassing would also go a long way. Trespassing's a civil matter, my friend. But it is civil, that's why I'm saying there's no offences here. Exactly. Exactly. And they need to know that as well. Have you educated them? Uh, I haven't spoken to my colleague, spoken to Hopefully she's educated hopefully them. Hopefully she's man. educated them, like Hopefully. Say. Hopefully. But anyway, like I say, as long as you stay out of there, mate, they're saying that you're fine to film out here, etc. Yeah? Well, I mean, I won't be going back in now, because then no, that'll no. be aggravated, won't it? Potentially. Potentially. We, we call back, and you're... You're in there. Potentially, you could be getting arrested for something or other. I am gonna stick. To, I am gonna stick to the publicly accessible areas, though. Yeah, this is publicly accessible. You, you're free to be on the footpath and over here. And to be fair, I did tell Trevor that as well. But obviously, as you're not, as long as you're not causing any kind of obstruction, etc. You see, Trevor in that security up. He's a very nice gentleman. He did say to me, um, "Don't have an issue with what you're doing, mm -hmm. but I think it might be wise to go to reception to get some permission." I said, well, that's a good idea. I said, I said the probability of them allowing that is probably zero to none. I'd I said, say so, yeah. you can ask for no, can't you? You can. So then, obviously, I went round to ask, and then they started getting um, nitty gritty with me. And um, I mean, the way that manager guy came storming out, putting his arms out to me like that, you know, I well, thought he was going to get hands on. The thing is, though, they don't have to allow you access to it. It's not a, a public place, so. If they say no, it's no, isn't it? It's the same with any shop. Well, of, course, of course they don't allow, they don't have to allow me access, but what I'm saying is they should approach that in a completely different way. Yeah. It was very unprofessional. Like I say, that's up to their I'm upset advisors. by that. Obviously so. I wouldn't hear at the time, but... Right, we'll leave you to it. No problem. I'm sorry your time's been wasted. Right. No, no. Yeah, yeah, no. Okay, so let's get one. So, just landed the drone, guys. It was idle, by the way. <coughs> but I was speaking to him. Constable, for future reference, and I should have told you this really to begin with, but it is actually an offence to strap a pilot whilst flying an unmanned aircraft. Civil Aviation Authority take a very dim view on it. Just let you know for future reference. Here we go, we're back online. No like causing an obstruction, is there? <coughs> anyway, Constable. <laughs> Constable, I'm now concluding my business. Okay. So, may I make a suggestion? Go ahead. In future, when a member of public speaks to you, please don't walk away and ignore him. I that is very unprofessional. You, All right. you are, because I should uh, identify yourself three times and carry on walking away from it. And there was an emergency log from this building or somebody who was yeah. phoned the police saying they need us, so I wanted to go and check on their welfare. Because of a man with a camera. No one's been killed. Right? Don't try giving me that garbage. Have a nice day. All fun and games at work, eh? <laughs> anyway. That is the three more individuals or three more representatives of West Yorkshire Police educated 
my job here is done I've got some drone footage uh, probably gonna wrap it up to be honest with you do you enjoy the show boys what was it? a good show that wasn't it your manager in there's a right snowflake mate <laughs> seems to think a man with a camera is dangerous 999 two police cars and three coppers absolute joke innit I'm sorry, you know, I, I, I've come here, I've tried to put this company in a good light, giving some good information and background on it, and when I get abused. Absolutely horrible. Horrible. But enjoy the rest of your day, boys. I don't film as my mum doesn't know I smoke. <laughs> That's not smoking, is it? It's all about my cock gun in his mouth in a minute. Oh, no. I won't get that on camera, don't worry, mate. Right, guys, so, yeah, the... Uh, staff members there who I've just spoken to very nice very nice uh, three, three more cops educated uh, they're still down there by the way I have no idea what we're doing still down there so I am I am parked relatively close to where they are so let's park here I think I'm going to put my cameras away go sit in park and wait till they've gone absolute muppets mate so we'll be sitting on this video for a while guys because you know they're going to be putting that privacy complaint in don't you well i thought it were a park but it's not i think it's just some kind of public bridewear not bridewell whatever you call them so yeah this is white in bradford uh, I've no idea what's up there. Uh, there are some site rules. Uh, visitors warning. Oh, sports event in pro. I think it might be a school or a college or something. Or so. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. See you in the next video. Bye for now.